so good morning uh, dear students in the previous uh, sessions we have seen the discrete probability distribution and as we have seen that we have two kinds of uh, distribution one is a discrete and uh, another is what your continuous probability distribution so we have seen examples uh, on based on uh, discrete probability distribution now we'll see uh, what is continuous probability distribution with example so we know that a continuous probability distribution is nothing but infinite number of uh, experiment or trials here with example we have i have told what is the definition of continuous a discrete uh, variable now so if continuous probability distribution so if for every x belonging to the range of continuous random variable x we assign a real number f of x maybe it is p of x also uh, satisfying the two conditions you know that in our uh, discrete it will be uh, p of x greater than equal to 0 and summation so for discrete it will become summation so discrete you will get what here summation of p of x is equal to 1 but here what we have here integration for continuous we will get about here minus infinity to plus infinity f of x ds is equal to 1 but first condition will same second condition will be take what here integration then f of x is called continuous probability function or probability density function pdf now if a comma b is a sub interval of the range space x of x then the probability that x lies in a comma b is defined to be the integral of function f of x between a and b means this what i have told minus infinity plus infinity can be described because they have given the range from a to b it will be integration of a to b f of x dx so here this capital f of x is defined as minus infinity to plus x because of x greater than uh, less than equal to x means minus infinity to x f of x which is going to called as cumulative distribution that is cdf of variable x now for r is any real number these are the results which are going to be helpful to solve the examples probability of x which is greater than or equal to r r is what your real number i am considering so at that time we can write this p of x greater than or equal to r is going to write it as integration of r to infinity f of x dx okay result number 3 and next result if p of x less less than r at that time we need to consider as 1 minus p of x greater than or equal to r then we need to write the result number these two results you have to remember while solving so if they ask any value means it will take here any number so at that time what happens here it will take uh, that number to infinity so that for example 7 comes 7 to infinity comes but condition is what your probability of uh, what uh, outcome is there x greater than or equal to at that time only we can take if it is less than or equal to is there we have to write 1 minus times p of x greater than or equal to r then we have to conclude this result number 3 and 4 you have to remember to the solve for the exam now so in a, here to find the mean and variance in the continuous uh, variate we have the formula mean is given by minus in integration of minus infinity plus infinity x f of x into dx and variance is given by minus infinity plus infinity x minus mu whole square into f of x into dx okay by using these two result and uh, result number three and four we can go for the kind of examples here now the first kind of just a practice example i am taking here so find which of the following function is a probability density function means probability density function means what here means you need to check whether your f of x is your f of x is greater than or equal to 0 and integration minus infinity plus infinity your f of x dx should be what here 1 this two condition satisfies then you can say that the given function is what your uh, probability density function if any one fails then we say that it is not a probability density so to uh, test this 
just I have taken on trial examples. So two examples I have taken here. So we will solve it that. And one more example also are taken. So these are three examples we will see here. Now solution is we know that uh, if the condition for probability density function is what here f of x greater than or equal to 0 and integration of minus infinity plus infinity f of x dx should be what here 1. So if these conditions are satisfied generally we can say it is probability density function. So first question. So f1 of x it is given by uh, 2x where x lies between 0 and 1 and 0 in other case. So clearly here because uh, x value is from what here 0 to 1. 0 and 1 both are positive okay both are positive so i can say that your f1 of x is out here uh, greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 means first condition satisfies Se second condition integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f1 of x dx so here range is out here according to the question instead of minus infinity it is 0 to 1 to x you simplify and just see the result here result is coming 1 it means what here it is second condition also satisfies so if both condition satisfies we can say that what here it is a, a probability density function similarly remaining uh, two more examples so this but uh, this uh, second example i had taken like that so i had uh, divided this interval minus 1 to 0 and uh, 0 to 1 i had divided like that because minus 1 to 0 it will come in a negative part and this is positive part but if you check so here in both cases in one case uh, it will be negative and in another case it will be positive but uh, in overall i can say that it is negative only and here result also if you integrate from minus 1 to plus 1 it will turn to 0 so in both the cases uh, your f2 of x is not a pdf in third condition in third example so it is nothing but f3 of x it is given 2x where x greater than 0 and less than 1 and uh, second value is here from uh, 4 minus 4x range is 1 to 2 uh, in first here what happens it will be first condition satisfied that is your given function is positive but uh, second condition what we have here if you simplify so it is not uh, turning if you replace the value of x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 so one k it will be first case it will be positive but second case it will be negative but any one case fails then a complete uh, we can say that it is not a pdf now 